In today's video we are going to use a battery load tester to check the condition of a car battery. Pretty straightforward tool to use. We have a cable here, red handle, that connects to the positive terminal on the battery, the one marked with the plus sign. This one's going to connect to our negative post on our battery, the one with the negative sign. Uh, we got our button here. When we press this button, this is going to put the load on the battery. And by load, I mean to say that is actually going to draw current out of the battery, the car battery, simulating uh, what happens when you go to start your car. When you turn the key in your car, um, the battery is under the most load that it will be at that point because a large amount of current is drawn from your battery and through the windings of the starter to actually turn the engine over. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use this unit to find out if a battery is in good enough condition to uh, provide that amount of current to properly start a car. To do a load test on a battery, the battery must be fully charged. So hopefully you have a battery charger and you can charge up the battery in question. I have a video on using a battery charger to charge a vehicle. You can check that out if you're interested. So this unit we have here will test a 6 volt battery or a 12 volt battery. Uh, we're going to be testing a vehicle, a car battery, so those are 12 volts. If we look on our scale here, Here's our 12 up here, 12 volts right there. A properly charged battery is going to be at least 12 volts, probably around 12 and a half volts. A fully charged car battery. That's what you should read with a voltmeter if you uh, <clears throat> put one on it. So we can see here that's green. Uh, if you read your instructions, uh, and that's the other thing, you definitely want to read your instructions for the, for a unit like this your safety instructions and all that kind of thing see how to use it uh, the instructions for this unit tell us that up here in that green scale is where we ideally want our reading to fall when we do our load test on the battery um, <clears throat> you can see that that basically that green scale ends in around 11 volts there the weak area is shown from about 11 volts down to 9 volts. Definitely don't want to be going any lower than 9 volts. Ideally maybe more in around 9.5 volts is the lowest that the voltage should go when you actually start a vehicle. When you put the the, uh, the load of a starter on the battery which is what we're simulating with this device here. Here's a battery sitting on our battery charger. The green light was on the charger indicating it's fully charged. I actually have a video on using that particular charger so I'm going to take their cables off of our battery. We saw that our <coughs> green LED was on on the charger so we know it's fully charged. Fully charged battery should be indicating around 12 and a half volts. So we're going to use our load tester, but just to show you that we can check that with our little $10 meter. That load tester, by the way, costs it cost me about $50 here in Canada. So there we go. We got a 12 and a half volts. So we know the battery is fully charged. But, can it actually produce the current to start a car? Can it handle the load is the question. Let's see if I can get my our load tester in here. Without knocking my tripod over, I'm going to move this back a little bit. So what we do here, take our red cable to our positive terminal. Hopefully you can see that plus sign there. Put that on. Take our black cable. Put that over to our 
negative terminal, see the minus sign there. Right now, we put that on there, and we see that right at the moment, with those cables connected, our load tester is really just fun functioning as the same as our little $10 multimeter there. It's showing us 12 volts. But here's what makes this worth spending some money on as opposed to a meter. The functionality that's going to occur when we hit this button here. Now, interestingly enough, it says here on the front of the thing, hold the load on for 10 seconds. In the manual, reading the instructions for this, it says hold the load on for 5 seconds. I'm going to split the difference and we'll hold it on for about 7 seconds. Now, when we do that, as I say, this, this unit, and be careful of this too, these units will get hot. As, they're, as it's drawing this current from the battery, our uh, resistor in here, our load, is going to get hot. So the battery is basically being used to, to heat draw a lot of current and, and heat a unit. So, here's our button down here. And we're going to go 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. Now, that we saw was really bad results. This battery is no good at all. We saw how low that went down over there. And we also noticed that when we released it, after putting that load on it and drawing current out of the battery, that it's the voltage on it has dropped down to less, little less than 11 volts. Okay, we have a second battery on our battery charger. We saw that our green LED was on on our battery charger, indicating, indicating that the battery was fully charged. So, <clears throat> we're going to do the same scenario. Disconnect our charger. If you're using that charger, actually want to unplug it and then disconnect those cables. But, trying to do this video, being as uh, unintrusive as possible here. So, we'll do the same little scenario. <clears throat> Take our little multimeter there, which incidentally is on the DC volt scale here, and it's able to read up to 20. You see a 20 there by my little finger? This will read as high as 20 volts DC on that scale. We throw that on there negative terminal, positive terminal, and hopefully you can see that's reading 12.81. Again, fully charged battery should be showing at least 12 volts, generally about 12 and a half volts. So, back to our load tester. Again, we are going to simulate the load that would be on this battery if it was in the car and we turn the key and the starter which draws a lot of current operated same scenario put our leads over there if I can do this without knocking anything around here. Okay, we did it seven seconds last time. We'll do the same thing. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. We can see that that dropped down into, I think it was reading about 10 volts. Now, um, that's shown in our weak scale, but reality of it is, generally, battery voltage shouldn't drop 
below about nine and a half volts. So uh, even though it's in the weak area, it didn't hit into the bad area. So basically, that's how you use this unit. And we have tested a good battery and a defective battery.